I love so much the noise of weird. But last week I was interviewing Kelly Kuma. Celebrating his 10 year anniversary in comedy. Give it up for the one and only Mpopops. <laughs> so, we haven't even started the interview already. I'm crying. Because <laughs> of this nigga. <laughs> dude, I don't even think I'm going to be able to handle this interview, dude. How are you, baby boy? Hey, Ukraine. How are you? Do you remember the last time we, we met each other? We were last time I saw you. We were out and about. Yeah, we were out at. Um, what's this club, man? Uh, the one by Santin, yeah. Um, we were in a club. Don't the know. one by Santin, dog. The one with the, the pool. And San San De- not San Deck. No man. man. Uh, What's that place, man? With the pool outside, yeah. it's got an outside no. thing. The sand. Sand. Yes, Aish. yes. I almost could score. we old, dog. Yeah, man. In <laughs> yeah. With the bouncers and the, uh, the sand. So the scoo screws. We there. I don't know you. Hey, you drink that much? Hey, hey I'm uh, my man. That's some teller. Vanilla boy. So I see you by the bar, right? So I'm walking towards you to come say hi, and then in amongst all of that, there was a lady there. There was a girl there. Yes, 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 yes. And we were chatting, making jokes, laughing as usual. And she just happened to be a part of the conversation now. She she made her way into the conversation. Yeah. You know those people that catch her laugh? And they're him chat. Just like that. And then she just stayed there. And she stayed there and then she left, right? Uh-huh. So when she left, I'm like, yo, dog, was that your woman? You're like, no, nah, that's not my woman. I thought it was your woman. I'm like, no, nah, dog, I've never met her. <laughs> we didn't know her, dog. And the thing is, we were stuck for maybe solid 20, 30 yeah, minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then conversating, like, dog. We were conversating. She started, just, she was there, and then she was laughing with us, and then she was, so I was like, ah, Untara is yeah. with his hand. Yeah. And I was like, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and she was a grenade, so when she left, I was about to say, my dog, what's going on? <laughs> we didn't know the polite way to ask each other. Oh, gosh. But anyway, listen, man, I got to give you a big ups. Much love. Summer's fucking killed it, dude. I think you were the only highlight this year of the summer. <laughs> Yo, the summers is dope, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Took a couple of risks, uh, obviously, as comedians do. Yeah. Ah, yes, you can yes, 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 yes. See, we, we were growing up in the world, we even have service now. Hey, <laughs> Five star, chief. It's danger. And but anyway. Free. Yeah, 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 the summers was so dope. The summers was dope. Um, and then on Monday, the, the following Monday, Papa Penny made contact with me, which is like, it made my whole year. Like that was that was my highlight, cause he, cause I portrayed him at the summers. Yeah, and then the bump, eh? Yeah, yeah, and, and Dimpy, and then Papa Penny was like, "No, I need to reach out to this boy." Are you my son? <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then he was like, "Ah, I'm happy to be proud of you, my boy." <laughs> I was like, "Thank you, Papa." <laughs> and then I think he thought I was his his son, because then he started apologizing. You know? Yeah. If, you know, your mother didn't tell me. Hey? <laughs> yeah, 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 if yeah. I had known, I would have reached out earlier. Yeah. I'm like, no, Papa, it's, it's okay. It's okay, Papa. But uh, that was dope. Dimpy reached, I, I reached out to Dimpy. Yeah. Uh, I gave Dimpy a shout, because we'd been chatting, and then I gave him a shout. He's like, yeah, you have to get permission from them. No, 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 no. Mm. We Comedians don't get permission. 
So you could have done me as well. Yeah, yeah, but uh, <laughs> relevance. It's the height. It's the height. <laughs> <laughs> the height matches the relevance. <laughs> Go ahead. And it was, it was gonna be hard to source a half leather jacket. Kali jacket in a my leather pella. Just yeah, half leather. You can see this. This is when you buy leather in installment <laughs> on labor. Yeah, mom, yeah. <clears throat> Can I have that leather jacket? <laughs> Five thou! <laughs> okay, give me the arms first. It's a bonus second half. So we are going to lie yeah. for the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, and but it was, it, was, it was epic fun, man. Mm. Epic fun, but it's also risky trying to do those... Because um, as a comedian, I have... I don't know license. what it is about this place, but everyone that comes here wants to have coffee. Even Kelly Kumar was having coffee. Kelly? <laughs> Kelly was here. <laughs> she didn't she wasn't sitting there, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my girl Kelly Kumala. I love you. No cleansing needed. Ah, no cleansing. All right, okay. Mm. All right, all right. Just pet a little chat la don 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 don. So how right. how does one get to host the summers? Do you have to give someone to a brown people. envelope? Yeah. yeah, you have to bribe people, brown envelope. <laughs> Yeah. Uh no, I think I think um with things like the summers it's about letting the ladder down. Is this you being serious? <laughs> yes. Did you see that? Did you buy it? Was it convincing? <laughs> that was me trying trying to sound like there's no shig shig. I oh, know, you know, you gotta believe in someone and then just uh, let them come and audition. No dog. There's no such. It's hard work and determination, man. Have you, have you, was it on your bucket list? Like, have you been? It was, it was. Uh, I remember early in my career, I once auditioned to be, to be part of the summers. Mm. And I was supposed to be backstage, what, what. And I was supposed to present it with the YFM twins. Remember the YFM twins? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Those two honeys that look like gargoyles. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was supposed to host with them. Um, and I don't know what happened. It fell through on the last minute. I was Shit. so bummed, dog. Yeah. I was so bummed. And then I sort of just, I gave up on the idea that I'd ever be a part of the summers. Because yeah. that wasn't the first time. Then there was the second time we were supposed to do a skit with comics. It was me, Toles, Mo, Mo Jack. We did a piece that made, basically made fun of the music industry. And the people t- were like, Mm-mm, people are going to be offended. Yeah. No. Shut it down. Day before, when the summers had moved from Sun City to to Monte Cassino, mm. they shut it down. And then, lo and behold, one year I got a and call. And this is just you getting used to rejection, yeah, like your whole career. Rejection, <laughs> rejection. You know when they start calling Another again. One. Hey, since I'm a summer. <laughs> ah, bakalil, bakalil. <laughs> then I went the other year. I shot something with Sofinda at an old age home. They're like, it's gonna play during the summers. <laughs> Next. <laughs> This, this, this. What does DJ yeah. Kelly say? Another one. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Five years later, they're like, summer's again. I'm like, ah, these people are playing games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you don't I'm even like, get your hopes up, though. No, nah, I didn't get my hopes up, eh? Yeah. And then, and then I got a call from my fairy godmother. My fairy godmother, Somchi. Mm. Oh, or, hey, hey, hey. Man, by my back phone. Girl, pendule phone. I was like, these people are not serious. It's been five years. Of this ha-. Like, hey, Penduli phone. Mm, mm. Hey. He's like, and before Penduli phone, Utandaz, yes. Tandaz and Tanam. Hey, after the phone call. Tatimudimu. Yeah. So, Mizi Arkir, hello. Yeah, I hope everything goes well this time. And then, boom. Literally, I was one of the hosts for the Summers. Shit. Like, what? And now it's finally happening five years later, dog. Dog, it, uh, it's been more than five years later. And was um, it everything that you imagined it would be in more, I'm sure, ne? The first time around, yes. Because also, bear in mind, I've never been to the summers. Mm. So never mind not getting to MC or be a part of it in any way. I had never attended the summers. Yeah. So when I went the first time, man, it was, it was everything I had hoped. You know, for the first time, you feel like a rock star. Yeah. You know, you're like, I'm hosting the summers. Then Land Rover's like, hey, listen, here's a Jaguar. Yeah, <laughs> <You can> yeah. <laughs> here's a, 
<laughs> There's a Jaguar pace for the weekend. Yeah. I was like, what? What is happening? You know when designers are like, hey, yes, when the structure is like, yeah, fuck a suit. It is structure. Free clothes. Structure. I need more cool as it was a taller good thing. You see us, yeah. people with shoulders. Why the fella is suit you can't? <laughs> <laughs> you, you look like a hanger. <laughs> Maps Mapunyani look alike. You should be podcasting, you should be roasting Jew. Roasting Jew with them pop pops. So you start, you know, just from a from a from an experience point of view, but forget all the perks that come with it. Just the the sheer joy and rush and what gifts do they give you guys? Because I remember when I went with Daniel Ranaka, they gave her like an Xbox when it just came out. Oh, that was back in the days. When, <laughs> when they had a budget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get any goodie bags. Ah, no, they are there. They are yeah. there, but uh, things have changed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did you get this year? Ah, uh, you know, I've got a, I got a guess perfume. Inga, guess, guess. Spray guy four. <laughs> USB, <laughs> USB. No, there were some dope gifts. I got, yeah. um, I got some gin from J something. Gin, gin. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I got uh, a Pringle jerseys. Okay. Yes. Ray Ban sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> K-way jacket. Yeah. Yeah, I was also making fun of people that wear K-way because yeah. it's a sleeping bag. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, yeah that jacket is bulletproof, Baba. <laughs> ah, but that jacket bulletproof. It's warm as fuck, though. It's dog. warm because. Like in the cold, it fights for you. Like mm. you will not be cold. And then when you get into the car, yes, yes, yeah. we heat it. So yes, sis. no, uh, but the, the gifts are dope. The you went to Mondia High, no? Yes, Floria. So I was in the north near uh, Hyde Park during so, the time I was struggling in Mondia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So I'm like, like, privilege. So I'm like, uh, so I see the the mummies that we have here at the side. I'm like, okay, cool. Then I went to Mondio. Mondio. Yes. I'm like, damn! Yes. What is this? Yes. Yes. You guys had some hard mummies, dog. Yes. You must understand, in any country, the middle class is always the hottest. Mm. Yeah. You were here in Hyde Park during apartheid. <laughs> which means your parents were spies. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all honesty, like... Back in, I remember back in the day, that was one thing Mondio High was known for. You must yeah. understand, we we are the biggest, still are the biggest public um, high school in the south, ne? Yeah, yeah. And and we were the first public high school to allow diversity. Mm. So Mondio High's got every every color, every texture, every tone. We've got levels. We've got colored, colored. Yeah, massacant. We've got Soweto black, suburb black. We've got... But the white guys in the South are like black guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, th- that was the, the one. Shame. We used to call them endangered species. <laughs> we had like eight white people out of 1,600 people. Then you see a white person in the second week. Hey, Mark, you still here? <laughs> Don't you went to Glen Vista, buddy? <laughs> no, but, but, but honestly speaking, Mondio, back in those days... And were you I don't know now because I'm old and I don't look at high school girls. Yeah. But uh, back in those days when I was a high school student, I, I we contained. Yeah, 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 yeah. The only other school that gave you competition was Park Town Girls. Ah, uh, obvious, but that's the factory. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's where they are manufactured. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then, what, what type of a kid were you in high school, bro? Were you the funny kid? A uh, problematic one. Mm. Yeah. But, but here's, you, I'm here's sure the, here's you used to catch. mingle with everyone. Yes. So, so I remember our head girl once described me as being purple. Mm. I was like, what? She's like, no, it's just like a color that fits in anyway. She's like, I've seen Are you talking about the actual head girl? Or the head, the, the actual head, head girl, girl in a speech. And she's like, she's seen me. Literally, her name is Katerina Nicola. Shout out, Katerina Nicola. We're supposed to get married. Yeah. Hope you're happy. <laughs> Your Caucasian husband. <laughs> Look what you missed out. Yeah, no, she's Greek. <laughs> so if I had married her, her dad was going to buy us a house. Yeah, hey, hey. Damn it. That's how we get the land, my dog. <laughs> I'm pouring <laughs> bomb. No, no, but um, she was like, I'm the type of person, because that's who I was at school. Whenever I'd walk into school, 
I chill with those dudes, spend 10 minutes, mm. quarren, 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 mm. then move on, go chill with what. And the thing is, with, with Mondial High, yes, granted, we were one of the first schools to, multiracial. Uh, to be multiracial, but people still stuck to the Kai. Yes, yes. So you'd have the Indian group, you'd have the colored group. Naturally. Have, yes. Yeah. So now I would be that guy, come in, mm. chill with these dudes. And Trevor then go Noah's there. Also like that. That, yeah. yeah. It's that's for me it, it was a survival thing cuz my my sense of humor and my my tongue mm. is how I learned to survive. So you're right. basically like a chameleon there. Yeah. Yeah. I have to you have to shape shift. Yeah. Cuz also sometimes you're stuck in a situation where you don't have your boys. There's some classes you know, your boys aren't going to be there. Yeah. Clips or go signs. Computer science. Computer science was the only one. <laughs> so you must learn to make friends with everyone. Yeah. Um and and I, I think I think that's something I noticed from a young age. Uh it's very important to broaden your circle. But dude, you had like so okay, we're done with high school now. This motherfucker had so many jobs, dude. Is there a job you didn't have, dude? <laughs> Dog, there's nothing I haven't done in this world. You had a call center. Call center. You used to sell quotas. You used to sell quotas in school, contact lenses. I was a pirate. You worked at at home? At at home, yeah. yeah. At at home. Um, the, 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 the what else am I missing? Furniture store. I've handed out pamphlets. I've done every single type of activation that there is. Mm. Even in the club? Dog, in the club, in the... I remember I used to, be, for Benini to come back, I was one of the people. <laughs> still have the Benini shirt. I'll bring it back. Yeah. Ish, I shouldn't have said that on camera. <laughs> I'll bring it back, guys, at Off Limit. Yeah. Dog, I used to do activations in bottle stores. We used to, I was there when we were giving people cans of Coke for the 2010 World Cup. Wow. As you were walking out of your airplane. Hey, welcome to South Africa. Kenako. <laughs> 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 That was you, mate. Dog, you don't understand. You don't understand. I've done any and everything. Wow. Uh, when it comes to hustling, man, I've. Where do I've you think you get that from? Center. From your uh, grandfather, no? From my granddad. Yeah. My granddad was a hustler of epic proportions. My grandfather once got my uncle out of jail because he came into the police station dressed in a suit. Holding a briefcase that had nothing. Oh, that is sick. Yeah. <laughs> he, <laughs> pretend, he pretended to be my, my <laughs> uncle's lawyer. He was, he was just using legal jargon. <laughs> Point of order. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I gotta hit him up when I let him shit. <laughs> no, but but my, my, my granddad was that guy. He 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 always hustled. Um and where were you? Was your mother and your dad, your parents at that time? So now growing up. Mom, mom and dad, originally we were from Fosloras. Loras. Oh, okay. So I was born in Baragwanath Hospital when it was still, uh, you know, <laughs> the place. <laughs> and then uh, we lived in Fos Loras till I was about six. And then mom and dad separated. And then we moved back to uh, Makriza. Mm. Uh, Makriza and my grandfather. And they are in Zone 9 Meadowlands. Mm. And then, yeah, then my, my granddad was... He's Hustling. been, yeah, I know. <laughs> Dog, he was, he was a principal of a high school. He, he, had, he had a Benz. You know those uh, I Was Once Rich? Yes, yes, He had yes. those when it was still during yeah, the rich. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he's... So when I was online, mind you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, my granddad hustled. Yeah. You know, and he, he built my granddad's beautiful face brick house. But under when floor you heating during hey wow, I mean, under floor heating to come into house hey hey come on, part. <laughs> you know and people are like ah oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. under floor <laughs> <laughs> I mean I only knew about uh, uh, what are, what are those blankets that heat you up electric blanket yeah, in ah, high school okay. <laughs> you talk about under floor <laughs> dog I had a chess table that played music <laughs> <laughs> ah, my granddad crazy. yeah. And, and not that my granddad was like this rich dude. He was a hustler. Mm. And that's where I learned it from. Because my granddad, when, whenever I'd be home with him, if maybe I'd miss school or if maybe it was school holidays, he was the type of guy he'd say, Artamai, start the car, we're gone. We're in Lanasia. Then I see him, how he interacts with different people. And mm. he's cutting a deal with this one. He gets this from this person. Then we drive. And then we're heading, now we're in 
zone eight and the thing he got from this person which i know he just got it for 50 bucks he's now selling to this one for 200 that's insane like, what's going on wow. i remember there was there was a point in is time is that dj Spoo? yes 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 we still die to beg in a video get more tiny more fire z5 Thank goodness we don't have BCCSA on this shit. We shit. We'd have so many complaints. No, dude. But no, my, my grandfather's literally that guy. Like mm. he would he would pack us all up because there was a place in Konji King, Fordsburg Plaza. Mm. Oh yes, a, yes, yes. There was a place in the plaza where you could buy like these suits. Yeah. Uh, I but wouldn't they, know. They were they were only allowed Antoine Nangit Valley. Measuring tape, yeah, you long it like this foam. Yeah, yeah. So they they would only allow you to buy one suit per person. Mm. Ah, my grand, my granddad would uh, would round us up. Eh? Yeah, we'd literally put us all in the baki, be like fourteen, fifteen of us in the back. Wow. And we'd all stand in line with bucks and a suit. Yeah, yeah. And then he'd get back to the hood, and then he'd like sell them to like. But it was like. You know those like those suits, man. Because yeah. like, back in the day, cats were all about black in the day. Black in the day. <laughs> <laughs> nice drop there. Black in the day, <laughs> happening sixth of July, ATN Reserve. Yeah. Val, we'll see you out there. Yeah. So yeah, he would he would literally be the guy that was the plug in the hood. Yeah. So we'd have one more time of coming to our house to fit what what, and he was he was clear in the sense that he always knew who was what particular style and what size. Mm. So whenever the guys would come for you, be like, ah, Pete, cake J, cake J. I can't tell you for real to say. My granddad was like, those Georgie Zamdela. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, those ones, that, yeah. Them, right? yeah. Those, they have a bit of Afrikaans yeah. in, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I can't tell you for real to say. And then you're like, this is not real Afrikaans, but it's okay. <laughs> And that makes sense because when you go to the summer's Pops is there. When you go audition for an advert, Pops is there. Yep. When you go to a corporate gig, who's the MC? Pops is there. We are there. Sneakers everywhere, we dog. We are there. <laughs> we are there. So that's, that's, that's the thing. Um, I remember someone was asking me about, I'm not going to mention people's names, but they were asking me about other comedians who have sort of seemed like they've found comfort in the things that they've become. You oh, know? okay. So this one is on this TV show. This one yeah. is on this. Uh, Why haven't they... Diversified. Diversified. Mm. And my thing is simple, and it's something I learned from, from my granddad. Yeah. Stay hungry, dog. Yeah. Stay hungry. Yeah. Like, also, people have this idea that money will change you. Mm. You know, like, like if a mole drops in your bank account, you'll feel differently. Oh, tell, I will. Or, Trust me, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Valentine, I fell in it. That's not cool. I drop it now. I want to see something. <laughs> yeah. Dog, like, money, at the end of the day, money is just a means to an end. Yeah. All money does is just give you choices. Yeah. That's it. Makes your life easier, gives you choices. That's but when you, you know you're making bucks. That's what they all say. You will always be the same, dog. You will always be the same. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Take and me back to your to your first live show, dude. Were you nervous? First live show. Yeah. Uh, stand up. Yeah, stand up. I was. I was. So. Where was it? It was actually on TV. Okay. It was on TV. I'd never so you done think stand up. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'd never done. I'd never done stand up, and I decided, no man, I want to learn how to do this thing. Mm. It's like, I, I think I've got something. Went to audition for. So you think you're funny? Mm. Um, I remember I was in Dosh, Musidi, and um, David Gao. Mm. And I was contestant number 10. I'll never forget the day. I went, I literally had two jokes that I'd prepared. Mm. You know, I thought, maybe I'm Gashaya one for the audition, and then I'll do the other one, episode one. Do you still remember the and jokes? Then, oh, they're just so horrendous. Yeah, let me hear, let me hear, give me one. Give me one. <laughs> Where we at? Where we at? <laughs> One, yo, they're so horrendous now that I think about them. Okay. Yeah. Bear in mind, this was 10 years ago. Yeah. 10, 11, maybe. Who knows? Uh, the first one was uh, so racist. It wasn't racist. It was just, that's what you do. Yeah. As I- in comedy, you naturally gravitate towards race when you start out. Yeah. So the first joke was, because it happened 
around the time the tsunami had just happened. Okay. Remember there was a tsunami yes. that hit the Indian Ocean. So my joke was, I know the real reason why the tsunami hit. Because think about it, the tsunami hit on the 26th of December, day after Christmas. Mm. And what happens during Christmas? All Indian families get together and they everyone comes with a dish. Okay? Yeah. And obviously, when it's times of family, everyone wants to prove who <laughs> can make the hottest hot, 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 hot. So now it's a competition. Oh, you didn't try auntie. Auntie, you didn't try auntie. Auntie Farida's. You didn't try auntie Farida's biryani. Now everyone's loading, loading, loading. Then the next day, obviously, everyone's boiling. They want to cool off. <laughs> like, now they go swim in the ocean. Now the competition doesn't end there. Now they're in the ocean going, hey, Sanjeev, look here. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> now obviously, cats are coming. Oh, you think that's something. Zangief. Fadio. <laughs> Andre. One, two. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so embarrassed. <laughs> you know they say, what would you tell yourself <laughs> 10 years ago? Don't fucking do that joke. <laughs> How the fuck did you not win after that? <laughs> yes, the, the other one was, was about prison break. <laughs> oh my prison God. break was, was on that time. So I was like, ah, prison break is just a, it's a lengthy show for no reason. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like we are in season what now? Three. Still trying to break out of a prison. No, man. Like for me, if Prison Break was a colored show, it would have been one episode. <laughs> <laughs> Guy would have walked in with a simple tattoo. I'm like, Schofield had those tattoos of a map. Of This is where the keys are. Co- ah, ah. Prison Break, local one, would have been simple. It would have been one colored or you would have walked in with a simple tattoo. would have been a line. A line and an X. Yeah. You know, they've walked in, greeted the other prisoners, wash, come to Opu, can I know more stand, Jay? Other prisoners, wash, son top, someone that I know more stand, so we stand, Jay, massacre. It's like, nah, listen, I don't want, don't want to come trick no more here with you, I got a plan here. You see, we are uh, going to run down this passage, move those two guards, eh? <laughs> they get one skis, run here by the X, that's by the gate, swipe an XX card, prison clock, fucking broken, baby. <laughs> I could go back 10 years. It doesn't have to be 10 years. And brought it back now, dude. <laughs> Is it back? Yeah, that's like the twins reviving the career. Oh, they said Schofield bought the franchise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> niggas are still breaking out of prison. You know what I mean? Ask our niggas. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, Chief, please charge my, my, my laptop there. We've been dying battery here. <laughs> <laughs> just plug in my, my charger. Yeah, there. Hey, you just took me back. <laughs> yes, sus. That's crazy, yes, sus. man. I actually, I actually want to do, I actually want to do a show mm. of like my old bits. Yeah, thanks, thanks, bro. Because you know when you start out in comedy, you can't afford to record your bits. Yeah. And then you. Over time, obviously, you grow and you stop doing those jokes. And when you're done with one show, you're moving forward to the yeah. next one. You yeah, know? you move on. T- but the problem is, not everyone has seen yes. other stuff. Yeah. So it's, it's always important to... Because even if you look at guys like Kevin Hart and yeah. Dave Chappelle, people that are starting to know them now can, re- can go reference. back. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was chatting to Lois Matinga. Love him, dude. Oh, Funny guy. Loy. This size, Loy. <laughs> <laughs> Same WhatsApp group. <laughs> <laughs> So he, he mentioned that he was a PMS baby. Are you a PMS baby? Hell yeah. yeah. Who isn't, dog? Hell yeah. And it's, it's so sad that we've, we've never been able to try and recreate or even come close yeah. to something like that. But guys, oh, and how, PMS was... How we need it now, bro. More than God. ever. I'm, I'm not sure if we'll get it right now. Because um, everyone's so sensitive. Everyone's so sensitive. Also, everyone's... Everyone's trying to bag a deal. Mm. Everyone's hey. trying to bag a deal. Hey, I know. We yeah. are. We are. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And Straight it's up. like, stuff like PMS just needs you to be doing the thing purely for the love. Creative like, freedom. Yes. Because, you know, that's another scary thing about the comedy industry is that there isn't an industry. It's just a bunch of freelance funny people. 
But you guys have it easy from the outside. It looks easy. It looks it looks easy if you're good. Mm. You know what I mean. Um, so, but there is no there is no infrastructure to come. Because you guys, there's no, there's no building. You know, like music has a building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, dancing has a building. There's an academy. But it seems like you guys follow the same template because you start into comedy, right? If you you're funny, right? Mm-hmm. You get you you first open up for other big acts, right? So you mm-hmm. open up, and then you get some sort of a uh, advert deal. Uh, yeah, some sort of a young break. Yeah, some, it's a yeah, home loan or yeah. Celsi or something. Something. <laughs> <laughs> and then you do a tour, and then it's done. You chill. Full sec. Well, now you can go overseas. You know what I mean? I but yeah. Be. But but. You know, like as easy as that sounds, and here's th- here's the problem with that. Podcast and chill, Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko.